Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be replacing an axle on a 3010 Kawasaki Mule. This is going to be similar for a 2510s, I believe, and a 4010. Uh, it's a little different than like a Polaris or Honda axle. So, um, anyways, let's get started. First of all, you're going to, of course, need to jack it up. And um, you're going to go ahead and take your wheel off. I'll go ahead and do that. I can't remember if it's a, I think it's a 17 millimeter for these. Yeah. 17. socket doesn't work or the impact socket's too big for these wheels. Has a, I guess they're 27s. Yeah, these are 27s. They're massive on this mule. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and pop the uh, dust cover off here. Make sure y'all can see good. Probably gonna have to get some pliers for this. If you break yours, it shouldn't be a big deal. Your new axle most likely will come with one. Not always, but most most of the time, I they do come with new ones. I don't know why these are so long on this. use either pliers or a good set of dikes works pretty good for uh, doing this. I think the dikes get a good enough grip that you can bite into it. Uh, then I believe this is going to be 27 millimeter. Yep, 27. right off and uh, we don't need a puller it looks like for this one most of the time I have to use a puller to get that off but you can see the hub came off with no problem and um, next here we're gonna go ahead and you see it has a lot of dust and junk in here but, um, anyway so we're gonna go ahead and get this ball joint sorry I get this ball joint right here loose uh, that'll have to be out of the way so we can get uh, enough room to get the axle out of the hub All right, so we have time to get this off and for it there, there's the cotter pin Looks like a 17 millimeter. So uh, we go ahead. 
ahead and get that off and uh, thread it back on in reverse. Because we're going to have to use a, uh, a ball joint separator. This is a OEM kit um, 27308. I think I got it from AutoZone or something a while, years ago. But uh, it works pretty good. I've used it a lot. So we'll just go ahead and put that in there. And then we'll grab, I believe it's a 24 millimeter. Yeah, 24 millimeter socket. spinning up in there so what I'm gonna do now is grab some fire now when you do this you want to make sure you don't try not to tear that boot if you can help it I guess unless yours is already torn it doesn't really matter but And then let's go ahead and push this control arm out of the way. And um, crap, I need a hammer now, too. And uh, let me get a hammer. I got a hammer. Let me show y'all what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to tap this axle right out. like that and we'll push it push it out the side here Give it a few taps. There we go. Okay. Now that that's out, let yeah, me get y'all lined up here again. All right, so you see. I pulled my axle off, but there is actually a problem with mine. My shaft is broken. You can see inside there it is broken. Now let me show you the new one. The new one. It's right here. So you can see the spines completely broke off of mine. So I'm gonna have to try to fish those out real quick. Um, if I can, then we'll go ahead and swap this plate and the snap ring onto this new shaft and we'll be ready to reinstall. Let me go ahead and try to fix that real quick on mine. In order to get that shaft out of that other one, I'm going to try to hit it through from this side. I had to use a puller on this side, so I just wanted to show y'all. So, um, what happens is the brake shoes kind of stick and then the axle kind of sticks, but this is the kind of puller you need. It's not usually too tight. Um, but just enough to where you can't really pry it off. So uh, let me go ahead and keep working. But I just wanted to show y'all the style puller I used. All right, so after poking with the screwdriver and uh, it finally came out, not too hard. 
Um, I wasn't able to get this ball joint off, so if this is a similar case for you. You can remove the lower, or the upper, sorry, lower control arm, which is the only control arm on this one, but uh, you can loosen that and um, it, it'll barely give you enough room. You have to kind of pry the axle out of there, but it will come out of there. So um, let's go ahead and get to the bench and we'll swap the axle. All you gotta do is get some snap ring pliers and uh, remove the snap ring and it'll come off just like that. And then you should have your plate. And this will also be a spacer. So just go ahead and transfer that right on to the new shaft. Uh, let's see here. Now you see, I'm gonna have to bend, this must have got bent during shipping. I'm gonna have to bend that out and then put the new um, clip on right there. So let me do that and we'll go back and reinstall. Our snap ring and Spacer are back on. Before you reinstall the axle, check the seal right here. Make sure it's not torn because it will leak oil if it's torn. So um, let me go ahead and slide that back in. And once I put the, the three nuts back in, I'll uh, set the camera back up. All right, sorry, I kind of got a little carried away, but um, I got the uh, cotter pin back in and the nut for the ball joint. Uh, now it's gonna tighten this up. like that and then we just got to put the wheel on and um, it should wrap this one up so anyways well uh, if you have any questions or anything please drop them below in the comments but I think that's gonna do it for this one so thank y'all for watching and y'all have a good one